Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Today I'm going to do a flip through of this beautiful little book here. It's called Garden Paths and Forest Trails Coloring Book. It's got 36 designs to color, relax, frame and share. <laughs> now I was looking this up um, because I got this as a gift off my wish list and I was trying to find the link to this book. And you go to uh, let me get to the um, page here. I think it's this one. No? Yeah. Okay, this page here. If you go to Action Publishing Coloring Books, you can see their selection of coloring books they have. And on top of the, um, or in the description or ordering page, whatever you want to call that thing, you can get this particular book. Let me get back to the cover so you can see what it is. In a spiral binding at the top in a certain size, this size, or you can get it with the spiral binding on this side in two different sizes. So it comes in a variety of different sizes. You can also go, if you get to the link um, where it says in shop, click that action um, thing and go into their exact um, storefront and see what kind of books they have. They also have um, like sketchbooks and stuff in there, which is kind of cool. So we're going to go through this book. First off, it has a plastic cover to cover the front page. These are meant to be coloring books on the go nice size you can throw in your well I suppose if you had a bigger purse throw in your purse <laughs> along with a set of pencils and off you go and you can go color it or if you take it with you someplace um, that you need to be for a while doctor's office something on that line dentist where you have to wait in the waiting room you can also take it out and color it so this is our front uh, cover here and uh, the pages are all the same inside. They're thick. I don't know if it tells you what weight these are, but I would say they're about a 65 pound card on there. Uh, we have a little bit of information here. Um, it tells you about the page that can be removed prior to use. Uh, please recycle when you're done. Hmm. I kind of saved my books. So this is the same as the front cover you saw with the words on it. So you can finish coloring this, bring over the colors, get a little bit of practice if you like. Okay, this is the first page that is the book belongs to. We've got the little fishies down here, a little frog, the lilies are in the lily pads and some flowers and what seems to be, could be a bird up there at the top. Okay, and yeah. This one's actually a little thicker than the front sheet. Don't know if it says though what size paper these are. Uh, Catherine Marlin is the um, I was reading it, blah, 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 blah. Illustrator, I believe. So there's a little blip about her. Helpful hints. Um, if you use your camera, you can use the code here and it'll pop you into a video, I believe. Down here. It's either a video or a website that explains that kind of stuff. And then we get into our first paper. Now there's a little scissors here. <laughs> there's a little line. If you want to cut these out and um, post them, you can also tear them out if you like. But first we have this gorgeous butterfly. Uh, I had taken this out already. This is the little plastic sheet that comes out. Just pulls out. It has little 
indentations here, so two, and then they've cut out all of those. So wherever you want to do a color sheet, you just pop it down and you don't have to worry about putting um, a couple of pieces of paper behind this. You have the plastic sheet already there protecting the other page. And you always kind of know where you're at because it's a little longer. Okay, love that feature. Here we have this really pretty kitty cat in the leaves. I thought this was pretty too. I mean, I, I like all the pages, we'll put it that way. Here's the butterfly. They do have a book that is the, um, because we here we have the Garden Pass is a book and Forest uh, Trails is also another book. They're separate books. On the back of each page, they do have the name. So if you wanted to put it in your title or if you want to know what they are, this one's called Butterflies. <laughs> it's just on the back side of these pages. This one is Flower and Foliage. Cute cats. <laughs> I don't know what this one's going to be called. Cat Mandala. And so that'll be fun. Here we've got our cute fish. And it's called Koi. Got some dragonflies in there too. Here we have some elves or gnomes. Let me see. Yep, just called gnomes. That one looks like a lot of fun. Little wheelbarrow there with flowers. <laughs> They're in a watering can. This one I thought would be cool for autumn. We've got our pumpkins. Little cottage in there. Potting shed is what it's called. And this one would be your beautiful birds. So this would be really pretty in the turquoise colors. So your peacock. These are going to be really pretty colored. The other books, um, you can, like I said, you can get them bigger if you don't like this small sized with all the details in it. You could get the bigger page and it would um, not be so daunting, I guess. This kind of reminds me of one on Johanna Bassford books. Birdhouses. And this one is called Butterfly 2. It's a butterfly right there. <laughs> oh, snail page. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Those are so cute. I like that. And this one is directly in half. It almost has a line going straight up it, so you have the mirrored surface on each side pot of flowers. There we have hummingbirds. This looks like day lilies. Okay, tiger lilies. Oh, look at all the birds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's going to be called birds. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Oh, that one would be fun. Um, it's a deer of some sort. Lyrical deer. This one has two birds in it. Eagle flourishes. That'll be pretty too. I'm not kidding. They're all pretty. <clears throat> nice little house here. This is Tree Stump House. Little turtles, a snake, a bunch of little owls, <laughs> owls and toadstools. So I guess, yeah, a bunch of mushrooms down in here too. Well, that's pretty, a leaf with a woodpecker in it. 
do the background in black and then just do the leaf. That'll be cool. Big owl. Frogs. <laughs> Mushrooms. Another deer with leaves. It's pretty. Some feathers. Oh, that's beautiful. We have these around here. We have um, like marshlands down on some of our roads and they're just right there. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Trees. What's it? It's an elf tree. Do we see an elf anywhere? Nope. Maybe we could stick one in the window. Oh, this is pretty. Owls. Here we have a little fairy. Mushrooms. What are we going to call this page? Fairy and butterflies. Okay, because we have a bunch of butterflies here. Another one, butterflies and leaves, and this is called leaves. And that is the last page. It does have a note section, so you can write down color combinations, or you can use this to test out your pencils and uh, watercolors. I don't know if it would take watercolors without wrinkling the pages, but you could test them back here smooth enough to take ink um, and like Tombow pens. Yeah. Probably use your ink tents in here too. This is the back of the book. So again, it gives you information here. A code up here if you like to use that. I would visit their web store so you could find products. Little URL code, and then you have um, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Pinterest, and Instagram here under that name, probably. And in the back, we have this beautiful, uh, real thick uh, cardstock. This is almost like um, heavy duty cardboard for the back of the book. And then the last page, these are other uh, items that they sell. So URL code. They do annuals, academic planners, coloring books and planners, notebooks and stationaries, which is cool. Okay. Then the back cover and another hard plastic sheet. So it is covered in plastic on both sides. So there is a really cool book. <laughs> I'll leave a link down below to their website. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And again, I want to thank the person who sent it to me. It's really cool. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments section down below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.